Member Statements, the member for London North Centre. I recently had the honour to be at Banting House in my riding of London North Centre to mark World Diabetes Day, Dr. Banting's birthday, and the 100th anniversary of insulin, a defining moment in Canadian and world history. Along with Charles Best, John J.R. McLeod, and James Collip, Banting's team changed the world for diabetics. They changed what was a life sentence for some and a starvation diet for many more into a full life, something many of us take for granted. It's also inspiring that these visionaries understood that no one should profit from another person's ill health, selling the patent to U of T for one dollar. This is truly Canadian, that no one, regardless of their ability to pay, should be out of pocket for health care. Banting never profited from his discovery, and I believe that we must continue Banting and Best's legacy to ensure diabetes supplies and testing equipment are fully covered by the province. On May 13th this year, I was proud to vote in favour of the member from Essex's Bill 272, opening the assistive devices program to include flash glucose monitoring and continuous glucose monitoring devices. While this particular bill did not pass, it remains something everyone in this house should support for those living with diabetes. Diabetes is an expensive disease to manage and equipment and supplies should be covered. Diabetics deserve universal pharma care no matter how old they are. Too many people on ODSP live under the poverty line on the brink of financial ruin simply trying to manage their diabetes. This is wrong and this is not Banting's dream. Banting believed insulin belongs to the world and I couldn't agree more. I'd like to thank Banting House's curator Grant Maltman as well as the donors, sponsors, visitors and volunteers for maintaining the flame of hope in Banting's legacy. Thank you.